Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's MP stand for anyway? Sounds like a phone to me. <laughs> Y'all got that MP29? <laughs> that, that Nokia joint? No, 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 no. I, I think it stands for mostly pathetic. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Major poser. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. <Missed the> point. <laughs> <laughs> Musty pillow. Oh! <laughs> Yo, why is that so funny, though? I think it's because she's an agent. Usually they're not funny. They're just suits. But this agent, she is very funny. Oh, yeah. They're supposed to be friends with everybody. You know what I mean? That's kind of their deal. Right. That right? is my deal. I'm either your friend or your worst enemy and Ooh. nothing in between. Mm. Oh. You still salty Ricky Bennett didn't join your agency, Barbara? Oh, come on now. I was just trying to help a brother out. It's not my fault that he doesn't understand the rules of the mm. game. Oh, Shep, you know, I got a serious question for you. Um, what? Why can't you be more of a leader oh. like MP? <laughs> why are you going to be so gosh darn selfish all the time, <laughs> P? Man, anyone looking up to that bum now? Good luck leading a team when you buried on the bench. Ooh, oh. yes, dude. But you know who I really feel sorry for? Like, Ooh. honestly, his girl. Oh. <laughs> all these NBA right. players. Mm. She stuck with that clown? I mean, realistically, man, he probably got a whole closet full of cardigans and pleated khakis. <laughs> <laughs> She'll figure it out. Mm. Speaking of, yo, Mila, your boy's single. Hit me up if you ever want to see what it's like to be with a real man. Oh, uh, wow. Oh, I yeah. am not touching that one. Look, this episode is going to do numbers, bro. Was there ever any doubt? <laughs> hey, 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 Chef, any final words you want to say to MP? You know, before the camera dies, because we're making this fire content right now. Come yeah, on. yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I just want to say, your gang's trash, oh, oh. your agent's trash, mm. your girl's trash, mm. and you're trash. Oh. <laughs> Did I forget anything? Girl, agent, no. I think you got that covered, buddy. And the mm. next time I see you, I'm going to tell you that to your face. Other than that, you know, uh, just wishing you many blessings, brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You know what? That's real classy. Why would he even mention me? Because he's Shep. Does he need a reason? Yeah. No, he does not. Clown. Look, this means nothing. It's just some loud mouth being a loud mouth. But you do have that Top Takes Daily interview tomorrow. And they are absolutely going to want to ask about this, given yeah, how inflammatory it was. Like I said, it's just, it's, it's no big deal. It is no big <sighs> deal. But we are going to obviously need to strategize your response, OK? So meet me at the business hub after you finished up here. And we'll go over whatever it is we need to go over. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you, Ash. Always keep me in the loop, no matter how painful it is. Thank you literally what you pay me to do. But yeah, see you in a bit. MP, it's going great on, to man. finally meet you. Uh, pleasure's all mine, man. Hey, I read the article about you in the pen down. You're one data obsessed cat, man. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you can never have too much data. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you came. Uh, look, this Shep thing, yeah. it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need to put in some work to make sure it doesn't have a negative impact on the start of your career. Okay, yeah, so just like work hard, play well, make people forget Shep ever existed. Yes and no. Let's say we put you in the starting lineup tomorrow and you stumble a little bit. Normally, no big deal. Mm -hmm. But 68% of our fans wanted Shep. And of that 68%, 95% have a highly unfavorable opinion of you. Okay, so that's basically corporate speak for they hate my guts. Correct. Yeah. Which means it becomes a story. Mm. The papers in this town are out for blood. I'm sure you saw the top take segment. Oh, I did. Okay, look. There's no reason to think that you're not going to take off right out of the gate. But any hiccup in your play, and we've got a distraction on our hands. It's bad for your growth, bad for team chemistry, and it makes Phil Boyer look bad. Mm -hmm. He stuck his neck out for you on draft night. Okay, so what's the solution? Glad you asked. We focus on the fan base, and we develop a strategy to win their affection. Okay, it sounds like my playing time is based on what? If I can make the fans like me or not? <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's ridiculous. But everything's connected. Okay. If we don't deal with this in a holistic manner, it could affect the bottom line. When the bottom line's affected, governors aren't happy. And when the governors aren't happy, 
nobody's happy. I just want to be a pillar in the community. So if we can make the happiness part of that, I'm in. I don't want to do a bunch of PR fluff, though. Same page. Same page. 100%. Okay. And I've already talked to your team about all of this. Impressive group of people, by the way. And they're going to take the lead on it. But my door is always open. Freddie, I really appreciate your transparency, man. Oh, just Truly. doing my job. Just doing my job. Believe me, it's an honor to work with someone as talented as UMP. I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can accomplish together. You're here nice and early. Love to see it. Just doing my job, coach. Humble and hardworking. Both qualities like to see in a draft pick. But you already knew that. <laughs> Let me show you the locker room. Let's do it. So obviously you've seen one of these before. Nothing too unusual. Your locker's over there. The one with my name on it, right? <laughs> Quick study. We put the starter's name on the whiteboard over here before every game. Coach likes to keep things regular, but obviously injuries happen. People perform or they mm -hmm. don't, mm -hmm. so it'll change from time to time. All right, well, hopefully it changes sooner rather than later. You keep doing the right things, <laughs> you'll be there sooner than you think. Hey, that's the plan. All right, hey, come on, let me show you my office. Come on in. Cool. Now, I know you're anxious to find out how you're going to fit into the rotation. Coach, man, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hyped, man. You got no idea. Like I said, we wanted to see how you performed under pressure, so we put a lot of weight in your performance in the Summer League Championship. Oh, yeah, you were very clear about that. Communication is super important in this organization, so I am glad to hear you say that. And I'm also glad to let you know that you'll be our sixth man to start the season. Sixth man? Um, okay, can't be mad at that. I thought you'd be a little higher in the joy scale than can't be mad at that. Joy scale? <laughs> coach, you're a life coach on the side? Getting a little pocket money there? <laughs> yeah, I joke when I'm upset, too. I'm not upset. It's just I haven't come up the bench since my freshman year of college. And before that, never, really. I get that. But six men at this level is a big responsibility. People have long careers in that role, and you haven't even played a game yet. I feel you. I feel you, man. It's just I have high expectations for myself, and I'm not exactly at a 10 on the joy scale just yet. I get it. 100%. Honestly, I'd be concerned if you didn't feel that way. You want to make it here, you got to have a hunger to be the best. I mean, if you're not competing to be the best here, what are we doing? <laughs> exactly. Doing? Exactly. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to get dressed, you know where your locker is, and once you're ready to head to the court, it's a tunnel across from the locker room. Any questions? Ah, Coach, yeah, I'm ready. Let's get it. See you out there. It's beer, for real. What plays have we it's got?